Oh, ye take the Herod, and I'll take the Lurud, and I'll be in Scotland afore ye. Oh, ye take the Herod. Hey, rude. Lou, rude. Oh, leave it to the English to create a lovely, lively language, and leave it to the Scots to mangle it to morsels. All right, bear. Sing nearer, my lord, to thee. Ah, uh, uh, uh. you haven't forgotten, have you, old bean? I have been declared an endangered species. You can't harm a hair on my heady head head. <laughs> oh, oh, go ahead then. I believe I'll go into tune. Might I suggest taking the loo rude? Oh, loo rude. That's <laughs> quite clever. <laughs> In the old days, I could have just blasted his binty head away. But no, he's in danger. He's a precious little creature. And I can't kill beavers, they're the national symbol. And I can't kill ptarmigans, even though they spell their name damn peculiar. With a P and a T. Ugh, if I spelled my name that way, I'd bloody well deserve to be shot. Patangas? You should try to cheer up. Or you could try to be sad more quietly. Hockey! Oh, I miss my home town. Glamour. What's your hometown called? I just told you. Really? I thought you were clearing your throat. Tis a gentle place, full of gentle folk, noble folk, and the noblest of all are the Macogars, the grandest of all the clans. Princes, kings, lairds of Loch Bairn. I miss me brothers. My dear old da. <coughs> oh, that is so sad. <coughs> uh, 650. <laughs> You're just homesick. You need something to occupy you other than slaughtering innocent animals, like the soulless brute that you are. But hunting is all I know. I've never done aught else. What you need is a job, and I think I know just the place. But I gotta warn you, it's not as easy as it seems. It's very technical. You're lovely, you are. What's this, lass? A flaw? A wee blemish? I'll just take care of that. Um, what are you doing? There's an imperfection! Or didn't you notice, you great mung pated keg wally? Yes, yeah, sometimes there's bumps. But they get worn down when people trip on them. Not on my watch! Oh, alrighty then. Uh, well, why don't you look after the ice and I'll go, um, I'll go over there and, and stuff. Ah, you're a wonder now. You're smooth now, lass. Soon you'll be perfect. It'd be time. If I freeze it, they will come. <laughs> ah, what are you doing? What does it look like? I'm gonna clean the ice. You cannot use that crude contraption. Huh? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, I meant to say you can't clean the ice when that lovely wee lassie April confided in me that she was. Oh, how shall I put this delicately? Willing. <laughs> What? That Dale, she said. That's a real man. Uh, are you sure she didn't say a real moron? Uh, she says that a lot. You best to hurry, lad. The lasses have a tendency to change their minds if you keep them waiting. <gasps> no! <laughs> Hello, darling. Conditions are perfect, dear. If you freeze it, he will come from the hills of Glamour, the lairds and the lots of fine and fair. And then she said she wouldn't be willing if I was the last man on earth and she had one day to live. But I think she was exaggerating. I mean, what are the odds of both of those things happening? What the? It's beautiful! Do you think we could play on it? Ice is ice, or such is my understanding. Nay, this not be any ice, lads. This be the black ice of Glamour! The most perfect ice known to man. Sacred ice that be used only for a sacred game. Curling.
Did you say curling? If you freeze it, they will come. The voice told me so. Okay, so, uh, who will come? Do you hear that? You'll soon see, lad. You'll soon see. It's them! They've come! We've travelled far and seen many things. Most of them in the in-flight movie. But now we're here. So, kiss me, son. All is forgiven. Those are the ugliest women I've ever seen. <laughs> da! Oh, yeah, you can... Uh, 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 <laughs> Let me introduce my family to you. That at the end is Hamish. And that beside him is Beamish. And then there's Mc... <gasps> Actually, you can't say his name out loud. Tis bad luck. We just call him that Scottish git. Mm. And this is my da, Dougal McCogger. Oh, it is so nice to meet you all. I am so glad you like my chili. Ah. This isn't a chili, just boogs and bittles. Scottish, like all good things. And what brings you here, Mr. McGogger? Oh, please, lass. Call me Dougal. I could never. We sleeky, current, timorous beastie. Oh, what the panic's in thy breastie. Hey, you can't say breastie to her. Stop your sludge more, lager pup. Right, I'll get back to you on that. I'll tell you what brought me here. I received a letter. It said that my son was lorn and lonely. The letter appeared to have been written by a young lad of no more than seven years. Perhaps a wee bit slow in the head. Oh, that was me. <laughs> you see, Angus was saying how oh, he misses you so much and all like that there, and it moved me deep in my soul. So, I, you know, I had a thought. A thought? A thought. Thought in my head, uh, uh, hi dear. I can't understand a word. Anyway, we come to welcome Angus back to the clan. Tonight we drink, tomorrow we curl. <laughs> curling. Did you say something, lad? I said curling, but in a way that showed how wussy I think it is. Because curling is a stupid wussy game. Cock your gob, buggy mook, or I'll put a tickle in your spot and we'll wake you thrice nightly. Oh, yeah? Well, suppose I called you a... a nortle sprung kazoo. <laughs> ah, now you're just making up words, you great fat walloping ale vat. Well, not only is curling a stupid wussy game, but Canadians are the best in the world at it. Strong words, lad. Perhaps you care to put them to the test. The Makoga clan challenges you and your mates one game. Upon the black ice of Glamorach, the sticks shall be decided anon. Fine, then I'll see you anon. Alrighty then, it's time to get things started. If you're good, form a line here. If you suck, form a line over here. I'll be honest. Nay, nee, don't do it! You're doomed! You walk on hellfire and below ye lie pits of agony! Actually, I think it's a septic tank. You must get out of this game! No way! I have my pride. Nay, you don't! Well, maybe nay, but I intend to get some, and then I'm gonna have it. I can only take being called a gobby mook so many times. Once! But you cannot win! We'll see about that. Canadians are natural born curlers. Just look! Okie dokie, try out number one. Name? You are not knowing my name? Oh, oh, of course I do. Sorry, just following procedure, Constable. <laughs> well, all right, uh, very good. Uh, you go stand over there. A am I making the team? Huh? I can't lie to you. So I'm just not going to say anything. Next! You can't curl. Because I'm a woman? No, no, it's not that at all. Yes. Look, I'm trying out for the team. 
I've rediscovered my Gaelic heritage, and being as I'm very, you know, Gael, I bet I'm a natural. Okay, I guess that was, you know, close to being all right. If all you're looking for is skill and accuracy. Anyway, you have to help me beat those loopy mucky noogs. You're the town shuffleboard champion, right? Well, curling is just like shuffleboard, only it's a lot bigger and a lot colder, and there's no rails to put your beer on. I can't. I have stuff to go to. Well, can't you, uh, go to that stuff after? No, I can't. I, I just can't. Oh, no, why would you? It's not like you're my best friend or anything. Uh, I meant that sarcastically because you are my best friend. Uh, you got that, right? Yes. Good! <laughs> I demand satisfaction! And as for you, I want to fight! We'll fight upon the black ice with mighty stones hewn of granite. You know, the only problem with that is a lot of time there are people curling out there. That's what I mean, you lout. We'll settle this like men. Curling. And, uh, what do you say we add a wee wager into the mix? Fine. If you lose, you leave town right after the game. Done. But if ye lose, it's going to cost ye an arm and a leg. I accept. Hey, by the way, before I accepted that, I should have asked what that meant. Oh, you'll find out, lad. You'll find out. <laughs> oh, you take the hay, rude. And I'll take the loo, rude. And I'll be in Scotland for ye. Hey. How come you're not with your family eating boogs and biddles down at the pug stop? I dunna like boogs and biddles. I like chili. I wish that were back on the menu. Uh, you know that there's a polar bear on your Chesterfield, right? Hi. Hello. So, I have kind of a question about Scottish. The dialect or the state of mind? Uh, the language. In Scottish, what does it mean when someone says, an arm and a leg? Uh, five bucks, ten bucks, what? Hold on. Tell me what you're talking about and I hope to God it's not what I'm a fearing! Okay. Well, your father and I made this little bet. Oh, no! Okay, so I'm guessing that that's what you were a fearing. Uh, so what does it, um, a mean? It's gonna cost you an arm and a leg! What? Mine? Mm. Suddenly, I'm a Mike Peckish. Might you have any drumsticks? I'll tell you the tale. All my life, I've loved to make the most smooth and perfect ice. And once, when I was a lad, I made the most perfect ice the world had ever seen. Roaring ice. The black ice of glamour. And the mighty McCogger clan took to it to curl. And the ice was so smooth, so perfect, that none of my brothers could stop. They slid off, and over the rocky cliffs of Bunghead. And that's how they lost their various appendages. I left home in shame, a mark beside my name. And now they've come back. They said it was all forgiven, but I knew it was not true. That doesn't explain anything. Why would they want my arm and leg? Shouldn't they want yours? Aye, but Da was never much for thinking things through. Sweep! Hurry! Hurry hard! Off! 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 Frank, you have to play in this curling game. If we lose, Angus's dad is going to cut off my arm and my leg. I... I can't. But why? I don't understand. <sighs> Do you remember when I was a little boy? I went to Scotland to visit my grandmother. Oh, here we go with another one. She took me out to the Highlands one day to watch the great Scottish game of curling. 
I remember. The ice was so smooth. I couldn't believe it. It was... Let me guess. Perfect? Yeah. And these guys were out there curling, but they couldn't please, stay on the please. sheet of ice. It was too oh, smooth. And as I watched, they all fell right over the edge. And I ran to look, and there was jagged rocks. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> Whoa, what an amazing coincidence. My aunt has that exact same wallpaper. I never noticed that before. <laughs> So, anyway, I don't think I can ever go near a curling rink again. It's just too painful. What are the odds of something like that happening again? I never really thought about that. Let me see. Hmm. Give me a few minutes. Right. Well, I better get home. I'm going to take some pictures of my arm and my leg. You know, something to remember them by. And upon the ice there is no mercy. No quarter given, and ye shall fight hard and win this day, and hold it to your bosom forever. <laughs> the arms and legs are good for all sorts of things, like kicking and grabbing stuff, and making amusing body noises, like so. <clears throat> Would you stop talking about your arm and leg? You're supposed to inspire us. Right. Uh, please, 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 please win. That was good. I am so inspired now. Oh, we cannot lose. Aye, soon, lads. Soon. Revenge will be ours. And they say revenge is a dish best served up cold. Although, truthfully, I never understood that. Anything's better roast it on a spit. But, Da, what did these people do to you? That gobby mook called me a nottle sprung kazoo. But you dunna hack off somebody's limbs for that. I dunna. I have before. You know what, Da? The only gobby mook here is you. How dare you speak to your da that way? Keep that up and you be out of the clan on your arse again! I dunna care! This be my home new! And you be a cruel old gobby mook! You're no son of mine! Uh, what does me home new mean? If it's alright, I'll play with you, my friends! Say, Constable Ow, uh, how's that groin injury? To what groin injury are you referring, sir? Oh, oh yes, of course, oh dear, my poor big groin injury, yeah, it's uh, oh, so much pain I am being in. Oh, ah, oh, oh, oh. I figured out the odds of a freak curling tragedy occurring again. It's 27 to the power of 13 to 1. I'll take them odds. All right, Frank. Say, Jacques. How's that groin injury? You go ahead then, Angus, and play with your little friends. I'll play alongside me bosom clampers, <clears throat> me sons. Are you sure they're all your sons then, da? That one there looks like the publican down at the toad and scrotum. Which one? That one. Which one, Macbeth? Oh. Such a pity you say in the name aloud, da. I hear tis bad luck. Well, lads, tis time to turn the tide. Okay, I can do it. I can knock out all of their stones and leave mine in, which would win us the game. Yahoo! Yeah, all right, we're number one. I haven't done it yet. Oh, right. There's only one little problem. Any imperfection on the ice will deflect my stone off the one course that will win us the game. You mean to say the ice needs to be perfect? The McCogger final finish is the only way. I thought the custom was that you do wear something under the kilt if there's a woman on the British throne. Aye, that's so. Ah, uh, so why? Ah. Uh... 
Oops. <laughs> Laundry day. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Take me arms. Tis time for the final finish. <laughs> Why didn't you learn to do that? No. You'd have learned the clarinet, you nance. All right, Frank lad. It's perfect. It's good seeing you, and I hope you've learned a valuable lesson. Bugger that! I'm off to find your harlot sister in Saskatoon. Perhaps she has some friends we can beat. Don't you talk about my sister that way! Or try and stop me, you great lunax! Oh, look! They're making up! 